Well, good afternoon or good evening, as whatever is your choice, folks. That magic moment, the Bill Crane Report, is on the air with my friend, Dwayne Weiss. Hello, boys and girls. And we're here to run through some events of the day. And I got a pile of them. Dwayne, kick things off here with a couple, will you? All right, something. We'll just go easy it in there. Here. Surprise, surprise. A New York sues the retailer for allegedly duping military personnel. Mm -mm. Apparently, there is a chain called Harris Jewelry that that specializes in putting jewelry stores next to military camps. Of course, course. you said you what? There's always yeah. a strip out front. And what's Down on the there? Fort Dix. Yep. Jewelry stores and pawn shops. Yep. And bars. And bars. That's all there is. Well, lo and behold, somebody discovered that. They, there was a big markup on jewelry. Really? Well, they were there. They're shocked. Six hundred to a thousand percent. They were charging, marking up the jewelry. You know, you got some kid that's just fresh out of Iowa. Yep, exactly. And, and he, oh, I'm gonna get my girlfriend get a ring my girlfriend for a ring, Christmas, yeah. and he's a sheep ready to be fleeced. And they were charging, now this, I didn't think that was reason, unreasonable at all. 15% finance charges on their financing. Christ, most of your credit cards, 27 or yeah, 30%. that's right, yeah. But they're shocked over that 600 to 1,000%. That's been in the jewelry standard. And it's not just for the military, it's, it's here. Do you know that anyone, and this is a tip for you folks at home, anyone that goes into a jewelry store and doesn't ask for a discount yeah, is yeah. nuts. The, the, you see the sign, the, the, they'll say half price. Yeah. Well, they're still doubling their money on it. Of course they are. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. Yeah. It's the, the markup that's on and, this stuff. And the way you know it is uh, buy a ring, yeah. bring it to another jeweler, and ask him if he wants to buy it. Oh, yeah, he'll look at you <laughs> like you're crazy. <laughs> Yeah, something you just paid a thousand dollars for, and he says, "Yeah, I'll well, give you 150 bucks for it." I well, I used to sell it to the jewelry industry. Yeah, uh, tooling and precision sure. tweezers and things, and um, used to go to the jewelry show in I don't know September, I guess, one of the word, a wholesale buying show yep. where the wholesalers were there with their their wares, and I always did my Christmas shopping there. And one year I bought uh, what they used to call tennis bracelets. I you know what they were? I know they what were they the, were. The, oh, I know. And they would be like. My mother would have a, her burst known. Monica had one. She I bought some for her, her relatives that she wanted to give, and they they were real diamonds and real emeralds or mm -hmm. rubies on it. And they were little, little small stones, but they were yeah, chips. Yeah, well, they actually were actually little small stones. But anyway, to make a long story short, they had a price on them around seven eight hundred dollars on mm -hmm. them, some six hundred. You know what I could I bought them for buck and a half. Forty-nine, fifty, sixty dollars. <laughs> oh God, help us! God Almighty, I said this is crazy, unbelievable. But when when my mother passed away, I I didn't ask for anything. And we just I went and got those those kind of things mm -hmm. out because yeah. I, I said, yeah. nobody needs to know this hmm. between the other other relatives and things. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> ah, what else you got? Ben and Jerry's is in the, move, in the news again. Ah, yes, I saw that. I thought when they got bought out, I don't know, what, what, what Ag Con Agra or somebody bought Someone them. Someone bought Some them, Some of the yeah. big food companies, that they would get off of this anti-military, all this kind of crap. But they're back doing it again. They got one called, a new one coming out, it's called, uh, what the hell was it here? <laughs> resist, Pecan Resist, Resisting the Military. You know, years and years ago, when I was uh, involved in a charitable organization, we had a function, and we were going to sell ice cream. So we approached Ben and Jerry's. Everybody said, oh, Ben and Jerry, Ben and Jerry. They wouldn't give us a break. Not at all. They said, we only work with and contribute to anti-military uh, causes. Wow. So we turned around, and we asked Breyers. Not only did Briars give us a break, they gave us an ice cream for free and sent the truck to sell it out of. 
and gave us all the proceeds. A little more friendly. <laughs> Guess what we used after that? Uh, hoods? To, yeah, to this day, when I go to the supermarket, I will not buy Ben & Jerry's. Do you know yesterday that uh, dessert we had? Yep. Briar's ice cream. Good. It was good. Too. It I was. like Briar's ice yeah. cream. Oh, man. Well, I'll tell you. I got so much stuff here, I don't know where the heck to start. I just jump in. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, well, Germany is rethinking all immigration. They have um, said that they have realized three things. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, immigrants are not assimilating. Yep. They want to live in their own little uh, areas. Uh, number two, they're not learning the language. <coughs> yep. And number three, they're not getting jobs. They're just signing up for the dole. I think we kind of predicted that when Merkel was opening the gates and say, come on in. Yeah. I'll, give, I'll even give you a monthly stipend. Merkel uh, admitted yesterday or uh, day before that she's all done in politics. Yep. yep. Oh, that's right. She did, yep. didn't she? Not going to run for re-election, and uh, but I think uh, she's not up until 2021, I believe. So she's still got yeah, two and a half years to go, but she's not going to stand for re-election, and uh, that is that. Um, interesting letter to the editor in the Globe. Occasionally they print something of interest. Uh, this nurse wrote in and said that this question one hmm? is there's a lot of Merck and Maya here. Oh, you bet. Uh, there's good points and bad points on each side. Mm -hmm. But what swayed her is the fact that if we vote yes on one, that means there's going to be a mass hiring of additional nurses. And where are they going to come from? Yep. Some of them are going to come from rest homes exactly. and taking care of seniors These personal in care senior people. Yep. hospitals. Yep, exactly. So once again, mm -hmm. the seniors get the shaft. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, I'm it's, used to getting it. The nurse supply is a finite supply. You, know, yep. you can't just say, well, we need 2,000 more nurses. Exactly. So go hire them. Yeah. But they're not there. Oh, yeah. Go in the backyard and pick them off the tree, yeah. <laughs> the nurse tree. Um, so... Uh, by the way, um, the polling data in the Globe the other day was interesting, showing that uh, the no votes now are uh, roughly 50-something. Uh, uh, I think it's 59 to 41. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it is kind of Really scary. has changed. I, I can, there are situations, and I've seen it myself being in the hospital and stuff, where the nurses are really overwhelmed. And it's usually a, a situation and it, that it's not all the time. And I, I agree that in certain in, in instances, they maybe should hire a few more. Agree. Oh, yeah. And I agree totally. I even saw it one time, a couple, couple more than once, several times at, uh, at Tufts. And uh, the nurses handle it real well. But, you know, they were... Busy. They were busy. Yeah. One of the nurses told me uh, when I was in the hospital at one time, she said, I got my roller skates on tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, she was on the 12 to 8, mm -hmm. and she was essentially by herself. Mm -hmm. She had like two rooms of patients. Uh, and you can get a patient that kind of ties up a nursing yeah. staff yeah. because of their needs. I had for a room. I was all by myself first couple of nights I was there, and then I had a roommate come in, and he was a heroin addict. Oh, boy. And he couldn't shut up. Mm -hmm. He couldn't shut up. Talked all night. I didn't answer him. He just talked to himself. Oh, yeah, I'm not surprised. All bloody night. And I'm constantly calling the nurse. Yep. Yeah. No, listen, nurses work hard, and they earn yeah, they every do. penny they, uh, they get. Um, and they, they got say, well, it's not a glamorous job. No, I mean, it's not. They, no. Uh, I, I, I told the nurses the last time I needed the services of nurses, I said, God love you, because I couldn't do it. I know. I couldn't. I can do it to myself, much less to somebody else. I said, I, I'm squeamish enough that I'm, <laughs> I don't want anything to do with it. Well, 
So, now that we've sung the praises of Nurses, yep. a story out of Berlin, Niles Hogel, a 41-year-old German nurse, a male nurse. Oh, yeah. I remember this. Confesses to 100 murders. What would motivate somebody to do that? You wonder. I, I, I don't understand. Um, he uh, confessed to it. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, um, he said he acted out of boredom. And he'd, he'd inject them. Yeah. And then try to bring them back to life, like it was a game. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's got to be a special form of punishment for that guy. <laughs> I, I should hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, racist graffiti found outside elementary school in Boston. Mm-hmm. Walsh says threats will not be tolerated. Um, they wrote a message that said, Whitey for life, L-Y-F-E. What does that mean? Is, is this stupidity and they're talking about Whitey Bulger? I, or know. is this Whitey uh, as in white people? It it probably I, I don't I don't mean to to uh, uh, mm. not make a deal out of this, but sometimes it's kids doing kids stupid stuff. Do you know what? I'm going to read to you what I've written underneath. Okay, this. go ahead. Big deal. An ignorant knuckle dragging coward sprayed paint hatred. Publicize it, and you'll have copycats doing exactly. more. By the way, if you wish to witness ignorant hatred, watch the late-night TV shows, Stephen Colbert, oh my Kimmel, God. and those guys. Yeah, you, you, you're right. If there's a hatred, it's, it's there. Man, alive. And they get away with it. And kids today know what they can get a rise out of. They know what buttons to push. Oh, my God. And then they <laughs> snicker and they laugh. Yeah. And what did we get yeah. them? Yeah. Oh, man. Two. My, my son, we came here from Brockton years and years mm -hmm. ago. And one of the buses in Brockton, they found pills on the floor. School went crazy. Just absolutely nuts. Called in that cops and the dogs came in. And they sniffed all the lockers and everything. Kids got out of classes and everything. Well, from then on, just about every day, every bus was finding pills on the floor. They were Tylenol, you know, vitamins. Sac saccharin vitamins, anything. <laughs> Kids are bringing them, throwing them on the floor. This works. We got out of class. Oh. <laughs> well, that was like them pulling the fire alarm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. To, uh, bomb threats. Yep. I mean, once you publicize a bomb threat to a school, you know you're going to get you're going to get a bunch more. of them. Yeah. Then, yeah. Oh. well, up in Toronto, two Ontario women have been charged in as many weeks with a crime. They uh, one of them is a 32 year old fortune teller in the city of Milton who told police, who police allege swindled $60,000 out of one of her clients as the owner of Milton Psychic. The second woman is 27-year-old Samantha Stevenson from Toronto, who police claim built a 67-year-old man out of $600,000 in an evil blessing scam. Yep. They uh, were prosecuted under Section 365 of Canada's Criminal Code, which deals with the crime of pretending to practice witchcraft. That's a very unusual category to put it under, but it's kind of amazing today that people fall for some of this stuff. I know. But they still do. do. Some of the old classic scams still work. You know, I can tell you this story because he's told it himself. Yeah. But Father Conley, yeah. Oh, yeah. who I, well, the, my favorite priest of all times, 
got a phone call and got bilked out of 4000 bucks because mm -hmm. he thought it was his grandson yeah. up in Canada that had been arrested and needed to post bail, uh, and he was in like a kangaroo court, and uh, he said, don't worry, you know, I'll, uh, Unc, I'll get you the 4000 right back as soon as uh, this horror show gets straightened out. And father was out of 4000 bucks. I think it was four grand. We got a call one time that, I'm not gonna say who, but supposedly was in trouble in Africa. Needed thousands of dollars yeah. wired to get, get her yeah. out. Well, this individual couldn't afford to get out of the county, much less to Africa. <laughs> you know, I actually got a call, so, oh, this was a long time ago, from Nigeria. I had a won. A lot of them things seemed to come from there. I had won the Nigerian Close. National <laughs> Raffle. <laughs> but in order to get the funds out of Nigeria, yeah. I had to pay $42,000 oh, yeah. to yeah. get the million. Yep. Yep, and I needed to wire it right away. So you right away you say, well, why don't you just take it out of the million and send me the slip? No, can't do it that can't way. Can't do it that no. way. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Um, I know an elderly lady from, from where I came from was constantly sending the money, and it was one of those things that she's just about, one, but we got to go to this next step, next step, yep, and keep. Yep. And it wasn't a huge amount of months, but it was often it was 500 here, 800 here, 1200 yes. here, 300 here, enough that she could come up with it. It wasn't like she couldn't come up with 20,000 a crack, right? And it got to the point where we had to, uh, we not my but uh, Monica and I talked to somebody that was one of her children and advised what was going on. And they said, well, we'll put a stop to that. But uh, she, wow. she insisted that... Uh, that that whole thing is still alive and well. Oh, yeah. um, and you know, and you won $50,000. We need $850 for the paperwork. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wait a minute. Well, we need another 400 well, There's what, another set of paperwork. Once they think they got you on the line. They Bingo. Time after time, they come back. After you've invested 1200 what's yeah, another that's right. $620, mm -hmm. you know, for uh, some other bogus thing, you know? And then finally, when you say, just send me the money, will you please? Yeah, oh, then yeah. Click, that's it. Goodbye. Yeah. Um, you, you see these fools on, well, the other day, it was a couple of weeks ago, it was one on, oh, what's his name? Uh, Dr. Phil. Oh. Some guy or some... <laughs> This woman that he thought was going to be his sweetheart, he never met her, he never could cut, get, and she kept getting wanting this and wanting that, and he kept they're trying to convince him. His kids are trying to, she doesn't exist. She's not. Well, yes, she is. She is. We're we're really close. We're going to get married and all this kind of crap. That's the wonderful part of the internet. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And she can post a photograph on Facebook of anybody. For oh, the sakes. researcher, yeah. the photograph he was seeing was some kind of a real pretty model from someplace. And they said, she's been on the cover of this with all these magazines and everything else. <laughs> oh, you know. It, oh, it's awful. It, it, you know, it's a, it's a bloody shame. It, it really is. is. The, um, the way we take advantage of the elderly, all the elderly make, Some of these make are mess. not even elderly. Some are just naive. Oh, I know, I know. Um, uh, and lonely. Yeah. I think that's the other constant too. I, I, in all one thing, of this. Yeah. think about naive. You might see this. China Mox claims that it taps Trump's iPhone. Good <sighs> God Almighty! <laughs> to anybody to think that they're not tapping everybody's phone that of is, is anybody is crazy. I, yeah. I fifty years ago, I was involved in the intelligence community. We spent three or four days going through the uh, Na or NSA, National Security Agency. Fifty years ago, folks, they let it be known they could tap any phone, any place in the world at any time. This was 50 years ago. And that was line tapping, which was a hell of a lot harder than to tap cell phones, which go over the air. Exactly. Uh, line tapping, you got to do it physically. Yeah. But the, the, 
they had no problem 50 years ago doing hell. They probably had no problem at the end of World War II or during right, World War II right. or doing this. Oh, they had enabling acts, I'm sure, during yeah. World War II that tuned in on everything. And to think that, my God, they're listening to Trump's phone calls. I know he's probably a fool for talking on a damn thing and talk, saying what he wants to say, but I used to listen to cell phone calls, not to listen to them, but I bought, I used to go to NASCAR races, and I bought a scanner yeah. that you could, if you ever listen to races, they, they, they pit crews and the spotters, and they're, they're talking back and forth and telling what's going on. Well, years ago, they used a, a frequency that was a cell phone frequency. You couldn't buy the, a, a scanner in Radio Shack with this frequency in it. But once you bought the, the thing through NASCAR, they were modified. Probably not elite, not even legal for me to have, yeah, but they, yeah. you got them. Sure. And in those days, they had batteries with memories. These the batteries would go seven, eight, ten hours on the, on those things to to get through a race. But the next day, you had to dump that battery, otherwise it had a memory. Would want to go down so far and stay there. So what I do like on Monday morning, I just put it on the on, and just let it run till the thing finally died. It takes hours sometimes. And my God, we get into the cell phone calls, the local, it was all those local towers. The stuff that you heard on those, I'm thinking, my God. You Newt Gingrich about found out. How unsecure this thing really That's is. Right. People calling in with their credit card numbers and ordering yeah. stuff on the phone and, yeah. and uh, Oh, and there's one that was a, some, I know where it is, a, a plumbing supply place. And they said, Mrs. Jones called back again. What she wants? She, oh, she wants that damn part. You know? Well, tell her, to, tell her the factory burned down. He said, she, she's such a pain in the butt, I'm not going to run out there and see her right away. And I'm thinking, hmm, I wonder if Mrs. Jones knows this, you know what? That's a, the things we say over the phone. Oh, yeah. And we just never stop and think of, uh, nope. um, could be a fallout from it. Um, in Pakistan, they are really um, lightening up. This Christian lady who admitted to being a Roman Catholic was oh. imprisoned. Was this blasphemy? Yeah, blasphemy. Yeah, Eight years she did in prison. Now, her appeals are over, so it goes to this one final Supreme Court justice or whatever yeah. the heck he is, and he paroled her. He said, you're innocent, go. Yeah. After eight years in prison for admitting to being a Catholic. Then I think they had problems with the, the local Islam. Yeah. They were, they were rioting and protesting. Oh, yeah. And, oh, they went wild. Oh, they were uh, a killer. And the thing is um, that uh, if he had turned her down, they were set to behead her yeah, that, immediately. That's, and I, I saw the, the circumstances of that. Something over a glass of water. Or, I, I, I'm not sure what it was well, all she got, about. She got into a tussle. She was a farm worker. And they were picking berries, and she, they were going to take a break. She said, well, I'm going to get some water. Does anybody else want water? And one of the other berry pickers said, we can't take it from you. You're not, you're not Muslim. You're not clean. And she ha had some kind of, I guess, a smart-ass retort. Yep. You know, was, that was it, boy. That was, that, was, it. that was it. Oh, okay. That shed some more light on it. It's not in today's paper that way. No, but... It, it was over nothing. Yeah, it wasn't a. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. Amazing. Yeah, but it's amazing that in today's world, yep, we still have this mm -hmm. by so-called civilized countries. We think we're uh, enlightened. Yeah, yeah. Um, did we talk last week about the toning down of the globe? No. Okay. So. Well, I've noticed that for the past 10 days to two weeks, the globe has abandoned the 24-hour-a-day drumbeat of criticizing President Trump. Hmm. So much so that the only thing you might see is a letter to the editor, but there are no more fiery 
um, editorials yep. and no more slanted news stories. Now, with the upcoming um, elections, they must have done some polling. I think so. The uh, Democratic National Committee, and they have put out some news flashes to the newspapers, cut out the rhetoric. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. hurting us. And like sheep, mm -hmm. they've, they're doing it. Oh, absolutely. And, and, but Dwayne, well, yeah. th this really speaks volumes about freedom of the press. Yeah. Um, they, they are not printing certain portions of stories because they're being told by one of the major political oh, parties. Absolutely. They, they, they march to the beat of that drum. Right. Whatever that, that party wants, and we know which party that is, that's yep. what the globe does. Now, they've just come across the fact that Miss Warren is not the glory person that we see her as nationwide. They don't like her. Even the Democrats don't like her. Did you see the big two-page article in the Globe two Sundays ago about her returning to Oklahoma? Yes. And Four days in a row they yep. had this campaign campaign going on above the fold up in the right hand in the headlines. I said, I'm paying 65 bucks a month to read about Elizabeth Warren for four days in a row, how wonderful she is. Are you getting the senior citizen rate? No, I didn't know there was. Yes, there is. Okay, well. You'd best give them a call. I am. Um, the, uh, well, I had it before I was a senior citizen. I just never, never yeah, knew. Yeah, right. Yep. Um, the, uh, that article, it was very interesting that most of the people they interviewed in Oklahoma didn't know who she was. Yeah. And someone said, uh, oh, uh, who? Senator Warren? I don't, don't know who she is. No. And, oh, Crazy Betty. Oh, she used to live in the neighborhood. That's who you're talking Crazy about. Crazy Betty, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, it was interesting. Uh, tell me something. Now, I've got you, and you are uh, the head advisor to the president on Middle East oh my God. politics and everything. So I couldn't even find have... the Middle East with a map <laughs> and a full tank of gas. <laughs> you know, we've got to do a show on the Middle East someday. Okay. But um, so the journalist that was murdered. Mm-hmm. In Turkey, in the Saudi Arabia embassy. Embassy, right. So, uh, the Globe ran an article here. Oh, I'm sorry, the Herald. Missing journalists' fate may scuttle U.S. Saudi arms deal. So, now we've got Saudi Arabia right here. Mm -hmm. We have. Turkey, mm -hmm. and we have Iran over here. And Syria over the top. And Syria up here. Yep. Now, Saudi Arabia and Turkey and Israel are our three key allies. Yep. And Saudi and the Turks are the bulwark stopping or blocking Iran. Yep. Now, it seems to me that we can find a way to save face over this death of this unfortunate guy yep. without us breaking with Saudi Arabia. Because as duplicitous as they are, so are we. That's right. We're looking for our best interest first. Well, so are they. Yeah. Okay? But I believe that arming Saudi Arabia and bringing them up to strength because they fear the Iranians no end is more important than uh, being the conscience of the globe. Absolutely. You got, my grandmother used to 
say, you know, as it's an old saying, don't cut off your nose to spite your face. Bingo. Because you'll, you'll lose in the end. And uh, uh, nobody is saying that, nobody's condoning this act. But in the world scope of things, it's not the end of the world. It's not something that hasn't happened before and it's not going to happen again. Exactly. And to say, even to say, all right, we'll cut off arms sales to Saudi Arabia. Who do you think sitting at the at the door at this point? China and Russia say, absolutely. We got all the stuff you want right here. And France just write a check. And, and France has a uh, sophisticated the, the, the fighter very, jets, the Mirage, the Equiset missiles, yeah. everything. Yeah. Sure. The, and they, the they're Brits. all wait, all in line to sell it to them. That's right. So, what kind of punishment is that to Saudi Arabia? Exactly. It's a punishment to Raytheon. Yeah. And, but it's and, not a punishment to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, and to Boeing. And to Lockheed. That's right. Lockheed Martin. Yeah. So, who are we hurting? We're hurting ourselves. We're hurting ourselves yeah. again. But we, we feel better because we, yep. we have, over here, we have the moral high ground. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that great? I, I predict, I hope that saner heads prevail. All right. Now, he, you, he, you're advising the president now. Yeah. What do you tell him? Sit down with the sods and say, look, come out and say, mea culpa, we're really sorry. This got out of hand. A rogue bunch. Yeah, and it happened. We're sorry. We are going to severely punish whoever's ever responsible. It won't happen again. We're going to clean up our house. And, and uh, we, let it be. we are uh, going to make sure that while we know we can never compensate the man's family. Yep. We're going to try. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah. We, we've done the same thing. Of course. There have been cases where we pulled in somebody for interrogation and somehow he died. Well, how about that guy down in Florida? I was just going to say, yeah. is that to do with the, uh, the, the Boston the, bo Marathon right. bomber? Yeah. I forgot the, the specifics of it, that there was, that they, happened there. They had a rogue FBI yeah. agent down there that murdered him. Mm -hmm. ah. So... Explosions bring calls for a shift from gas. Well, let me tell you something, Dwayne. Well, I, this makes my ahead. head hurt. Me too. <laughs> it's, um, we had the solution, but the moronic crybabies lobbied against it. It was called nuclear power. That's right. Clean, non-polluting, reliable, safe. And if the process to license it was cleaned up and all the baloney eliminated, mm -hmm. it would be cheap. That's right. But it is so costly to fight this out in the courts for 10 years yeah. to get a license. You, 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 it costs 10 or 20 times the amount of litigation and negotiation and all the court proceedings to get the permit to build it as it does to build it. Absolutely. And that is criminal. Yep. I, I'm not saying they shouldn't have guidelines and they shouldn't be strict. They, absolutely. But it gets to be ridiculous. It gets to be obstructive. And that's what the Atomic Energy Commission yep. is for. Yep. Yeah, absolutely right. I'll tell you, I, uh, and we build them strictly in this country. I've been in them. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I have too. And, I, yep. I, and, I supplied a lot of the tools. Yep. And when, it's amazing uh, what you got to... Plymouth was built. Amazing what you got to go through to get in the door. Well, I saw a lot of tools because they would get into the hot area and they had to be buried. Yeah. Brand new stuff. Yeah. They only used it in there for 20 minutes or so, but they couldn't touch them again. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I, if you ask them, well, they always, what, what's the alternative? Well, I don't know. Uh, renewable resources, maybe wind and and maybe fairy dust. I don't know. You know yeah, they oh, always got some know. little. Well, there's somebody will come along and do something for us. Right? Yeah. Mm. But there is a something you can do. I mean, these people with the signs in the yard, no new pipelines. Yeah. All right. Listen, you can put so much gas through a. 12 inch line mm -hmm. but if you put an 18 inch line or a 24 inch line in there exponentially more gas can go through instead no 
keep the 12 inch lines. Yeah. So how do you get more gas through? Pump the pressure up. Up the pressure goes. And what happens when you get 80 and 90 year old pipelines? Pow. Pow is right and ba-boom. So uh, the answer is bigger pipelines, newer pipelines, mm -hmm. and much better enforcement. Mm -hmm. That's the story. Uh, by the way, I found out something interesting the other day in reading an article. Um, the government backs uh, the so-called uh, reverse mortgages. They, they, uh, but I know they got regulations yeah. on yeah. it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, and it's a government program oh, okay. and it's backed and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. They will not write a reverse mortgage for any home that has solar panels on the roof. Hmm. That's an interesting yeah. supposition. Um, now, I hope that's correct, but um, they were, uh, th that was in, uh, I think it was in the business section of the Herald. Um, no, it wasn't. It was in, uh, yeah, it was. It was in the Herald, and it was in Sunday's um, uh, mortgage Mm -hmm. um, column. I can kind of see the rationale. Yeah. Because um, if you have to sell that house and it's full of solar panels on the roof and the buyer doesn't want it. That's right. Exactly. And what if a cowboy installed them on the roof? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I can see it. You know what? Lately, Harvard been taking a little... A little <sighs> Asked. You know, just, I, I just smile when I think because they are so arrogant and preach about, well, we're above the fray. We do everything perfect. Now, all of a sudden, it, with the uh, affirmative action, and guess who they've been taking money from? Well, Saudi Arabia. Oh, no. Yeah. And Brandeis, too. That's right, and yeah. MIT. Yeah. Good Lord, uh, preach to us about this yeah. and that, you know, and can't let this one be an instructor anymore. My God, oh no! And then now they've changed; their trial is going on. I know. And guess who just changed the guidelines five or seven days before the trial? Uh, let me guess, John it, Harvard. John Harvard's school. <laughs> My God, they would never discriminate against no. anybody. And we look for positive young people. Oh, yeah. Uh, aggressive young people. Uh, curious young people. And they have to pass this likable interviews yeah. and, and the, yeah. the so interview like a points. Love fest. Yeah. yeah. And, but if daddy's rich, well, or daddy if, and grandpa went here. Or, well, here, just if, sign right here. You can, Aunt, you're in. Aunt Emily is willing to uh, put a wing on the hospital yeah. there in Cambridge. Yeah, and call it the well, Harvard you wing. You, you didn't do good, too good in high school. That's okay. Your name was Kennedy. Sign right here. Yeah. They have a separate list. Yep. Uh, and it's called uh, the X list legends yeah. yeah and it's uh well you know if you got four uncles and your dad that all came to harvard and you're donating to harvard you don't well uh, we'll we'll just put your application over here and when the dust settles we'll yeah. grab oh, yeah. it and you'll uh, you'll be you keep it on the low yeah. down harvard you, you just uh, you grovel and the bottom mud like everybody else, but you just, you say you don't, but you do. Of course you do. And they take care of their own. Yep, exactly. And I'm, in a lot of respects, I can understand that. Yeah, but don't preach then that's that you it. don't. That's, that's it. That's like a, 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 a preacher that gets up and hellfire and brimstone yeah, and uh, you're going to hell if you do this and that and then goes home and gets stinking drunk and beats the wife. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it, it, it's, a, it's hypocritical. Uh, I've got a whole folder on the Harvard thing. And okay. we, we've got to roll that out and go over that piece by okay, piece good. because that's a fascinating story. It, it is. It's, it's, I mean, so let's get this straight. You don't want more than 40% Oriental. Asians, yeah. Asians. 
Um, well, how is that not racist? Well, they went 26, I think, is their, yeah. their, their target yeah. number there, I think. Yeah, um, but th they're appalled that if they just leave it on a test basis, in a grades basis, the uh, Asians do extremely Phenomenal. well. They blow everybody away. And California's doing the same thing, that's, too. That's the bottom line. They're afraid of that. Yep. And because you... I think some what forty two thousand applicants is not unusual, or forty thousand applicants for two thousand no, two hundred seats. That's exactly or right. And almost every one of them that's applying are valedictorians, four point grade average, four point yeah. grade average. They're all coming in academically perfect. So now, now they can start playing with this the interview system. Yep. So it, yeah. it's and, and they also come into with letters from their school oh, principals absolutely. and all that stuff. Um, they, they, they are the creme de creme. Mm -hmm. But if you're Asiatic, no creme de cremes wanted there. Yeah. Got to limit it to a certain percentage uh, because after all, we have to have a certain percentage of um, uh, African Americans, we have to have a certain percentage of Latinos, and what's ever left over, we'll let a few whites in. Yep, that's what you're getting down to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know that we've got to start getting smarter and start calling ourselves minorities, whites, because that's what it's coming to. Mm -hmm. um, you know, 75% of the National Football League is African American. I yep. think it's even higher, much higher in the NBA. NBA. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, how about the, the, the relationship between the different races in jobs? Mm -hmm. um, I, you're telling uh, companies they have to employ a certain percentage? Exactly. Well, how about doing that for whites? Or take it across the board. If they want this base of... If you're 14% of the population or 12%, yep. you, you should have at least 14 or 12% right. representation in, in your organization. Well, pull that into professional sports. Exactly. All yeah. of a sudden there are some things, well, we don't look at it then with this. But yeah. you, have to, you have to abide by it, That's but right. you don't. That's right. And we get civil rights laws in this country. You know, that, uh, but, you know, it's interesting. The... Uh, when Bill Gross was uh, appointed uh, mm -hmm. as the first black superintendent in Boston, um, the, a big hoorah went up, and rightfully so. Um, it's like the first Irish guy that was ever put on the police yeah. department, you know? And rightfully so. He's a good man, and he's got a wonderful record. And then uh, some of the activists said, now we're going to get more and more and more minorities on City of Boston has 12% African American population. Okay. City of Boston Police Department has 12% African Americans. They're right on. Mm -hmm. So we're, now we're, we're going to get more? I mean, uh, listen, I'm all for whoever scores best on the yeah. test, who's a military veteran, who has impeccable credentials as far as his mm -hmm. life is concerned, and who is physically fit. I want him or her appointed to the police mm -hmm. department. Exactly. I don't care if they're green, Me neither. purple. That's, that's the whole thing. We've both been saying yeah. that for years. Yep. What is the difference of what color they are? You've got to get away from this black Hispanic stuff yep. and say Americans. Yep. And exactly. how many times have we said that? Over and over. Over and over. Is Nobody right. listens to us. No. No. Listen to us. That's right. Yeah. Oh, boy. Thelma, put that down. <laughs> no, none of that stuff while the show is on. I didn't do it this week, Thelma. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's an interesting story. And this is another one that we're going to have to make a major hoorah about. Okay. And that is our state police. What an embarrassment! Yeah, that it whole is. It's a mess national is. embarrassment. Yep. Yep. 
But at the Massachusetts Records Conservation Board. Oh my, is this where they started yep. destroying records? Tabled a request from the state police to destroy hundreds of records. Yep due to ongoing investigations and audits within the law enforcement agency. The state police requested a bunch of files to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. If you well, can't trust the state police, that's right. They can't govern themselves. No, they can't. I mean this this is really bad. And you know who I got to give some of the blame to on this is your friend and mine, Charlie Baker. Charlie Baker, yeah. He has not stepped up to the plate uh, with a big bat in his hand no. and started swinging. The, uh, well, first of all, we got to get rid of that law regulation that they, that's exactly. the leaders come from the ranks. Yep. Yep. You, you bring too much baggage with you when you do that. Uh, if you folks don't understand that, to be head of the state police, you must be a member of the state police. The governor then takes you and promotes you to lieutenant colonel, and now you are the head of the state police. Mm -hmm. It cannot come from the Philadelphia Police Department. No, no outside uh, searches. A uh, retired general from the U.S. Marine Corps. Yep. Uh, no, none of that stuff. It's got to be a state cop. Talk about being inbred. We, we, we tend in Massachusetts to, look, to close the ranks around us. Yep, and we a, do. A little cosmo, yep. microcosmo, all of ourselves, and just, we'll do it how we want to do it, and there's no inter interference from outside. Look at the Boston um, school board. Yeah. And uh, they had to get rid of uh, Chang, the yep. uh, previous superintendent. Yep. Oh, he's gone. He's gone back out to the West Coast. Oh, he got a $300,000 kiss in the mail mm -hmm. for going. Why wasn't that discussed before he went? Why wasn't that discussed when they were negotiating that? No, because it's the there's wall all these little silence. Oh, yeah, the wall of silence. That's what yep. it is. This we, we deal with these uh, judge magistrates in this state. That's another subject um, in my major yeah, league good. folder. That, that, one, that one's got the potential to really blow up. It does. And boy, oh boy. And uh, You know, those judge magistrates, um, they, they don't even have to be lawyers. No, they don't. No. And you just go in and sit down and talk to them and uh, they say, ah, okay, we'll drop this. Yeah. Okay, one no. of them said it's better that we're not lawyers. Yeah. We're not hung up on the legal parts. Good heavens. You know another thing that came out? Blue Cross, the number one insurer mm -hmm. in the state, is now going to put hospitals on a budget. They're going to say, we're going to give you X amount of dollars, and you can't go beyond that, mm -hmm. or else we're not going to pay the insurance bill. Yeah. So now we have an insurance company dictating how much health care we will provide, and how it will be doled out. When a question arises, what is the best care to be given this patient? Uh, some pencil pusher at an insurance company is going to dictate to my doctor, me, and my family what can be done. And if he says, yep. no, that's not a practical approach, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. The insurance companies should not be involved in health care. They need yeah. to pay for health care. They need to decide how much we charge people for health care so that they can make a profit and administrate the programs. But they should not be dictating what doctors do. No, they should not. And uh, that's absolutely wrong. Now, did you have anything to do with Whitey Bulge's early demise? Oh, God, it's getting all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was hoping. 
<laughs> I was hoping we could keep that undercover for a little bit longer. Oh, I screwed plus, it up. Plus, we got five going. Yeah. Here. Five left. Five left. Uh, um, what do you think of that? Oh, I. They were waiting for him. Oh, sure they were. But the, why they, the guy in the paper today, that little insert of the you yeah. know, the mafia guy, and oh, oh yeah, ab absolutely. The the for, underground knew he was sure. coming and where he was going to be. How did they know he was coming? And who okayed the transfer that's to that? That's going to be the sixty-four thousand dollars question. Who put him in the open population? There's a lot of going to be a lot of questions asked. Did they give him a sweatshirt with a bullseye yep, on it too? Here I am, man alive. No, I can't say that I'm really. No, I'm not shook up over no, it. Nobody's broken no. hearted over this. <coughs> I mean, his partner Steve, the Rifleman Flemmy, yep. has admitted. To over fifty killings. Yep, it, it's and Whitey was involved in most of them. Mm -hmm. Well, first thing I thought of, well, save the state a lot of money. Yeah, keeping this toad alive. Yeah, you, know? you can it, buy a padlock for six dollars and fifty cents at the commissary mm -hmm. in that prison, so that you could lock your foot locker, I think it is, or something. They put the lock in a sock and beat him to death. Yeah, one. use it as a weapon. Yeah. yeah that's nuts. Just like, I, 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 you ever watch these like lockdowns? And, uh, oh, yeah. And you get to some of these California prisons and they have so much problem with stuff, but they let them have so much stuff. Exactly. You let all this stuff come in. You, you get the stuff that came out there in that Hernandez article. Yeah. All the drugs he was taking. How while the he hell was, in was he prison. getting those uh, artificial yeah. marijuana or whatever yeah. they call what, it? Yeah. Uh, UPS to love us? Yeah. Well, I, oh, I think yeah, it's yeah, probably yeah. coming in through the staff. A lot of it is. Well, it is. Of course it is. Uh, but where is law enforcement mm -hmm. grabbing these people that are right. bringing it in? Yep. Three million. Uh, your favorite girl. Mara Healy, oh, Attorney geez. General. To Where cases go to die. Yep. $3 million to stem New Hampshire mass drug flow. There is $3 million that is going to be wasted totally. Yep. What are they going to do? Nothing. Jesus. Well, we're going to have a, a grant program, and we're going to get more of the... Um, naloxone for opioid uh, overdoses, but, um, and they're also going to uh, have, uh, get people into facilities and beds. Gee. How is that stopping the New Hampshire uh, mass I drug I don't fall? understand what, what the whole program is going to do here. Uh, they're going to bolster enforcement and cooperation. We're down to two. Okay. Um, yeah, what did, what did she, the only thing I can think of is build a wall. Yeah. Oh, well, it says here, um, in a partnership with New Hampshire, the money is uh, going to go to uh, stem the flow of drugs. And that's about it. They don't now, really go much beyond Why does that. she think there's such a great flow from New Hampshire into Massachusetts? There's a lot of suspicion that's going the other way. The other way is right. Th this is... A photo op for her. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! The, these these characters you get from Walsh to to Warren to the, oh. her. You, if there's a camera, if they hear a camera click, yeah, it's like Pavlovian's dog. Exactly. I mean, they, exactly. Uh, we get just a couple of minutes, folks. I want to get to one more thing. Okay. The Registry of Motor Vehicles confirms arrest of five to take learner's permit tests. One. This is amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The people are coming in and saying, I'm uh, Dwayne Weiss, and I'm here to take his driver's test. And they sit down and they ace it. Yeah, well, of course. Nobody asks me for my uh, identification. Uh, show me your driver's license, Mr. Weiss. Uh, uh, well, well, it wouldn't be that. Yeah, but it some, would be something else. Are you really uh, Mr. They don't, Weiss? They don't care. They don't care. And they're on the take in yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. What a deal. You know, Massachusetts pats themselves on the back for being the uh, epicenter of civility. We've got it right in Massachusetts. We're the hub of, of the, the universe. universe. That's right. We are a joke. 
Yep. When you hear stuff like this, uh, friends, tragedy. Our show is over. Now, you can go back to two more weeks of easy living and debauchery madness or whatever it is you care to do that's right you'll but in two weeks you'll have to pay the price that's it we're going to be all over you with more stuff to get you straightened out and on that note good day take care good night <laughs> <laughs>